God opposes the proud, he says. God opposes you. But you can be set free today, sir. You can be set free. Turn to Christ. I came here, I drove here to preach this message to you that you might be saved today. Friend, I would love to baptize you. I would love to go down to the river and baptize you on profession of faith that you've cast all, you've shed all your sins, all your worldly sorrow, you've cast it away. It is as far as the east is from the west. You've trusted Jesus. Let's do it. But until your strong spirit of pride and sin and debaucherous pompousness, until that is destroyed, nothing will change. Until that hatred of God and of your neighbor, nothing will change. Here's the reason. You want to know the reason why there's transgender? Why you defile your bodies and mutilate them? It's because you hate the image that you bear. You hate the image of God that is implanted on every fiber of your body, from the soles of your feet to the tip top of your head. But guess what? No matter how much you defile yourself, no matter how many masks you put upon yourself, the image of God still shines so brightly in all of you. The Bible says God has put eternity on man's heart. On man's heart, it's all throughout you. It is so clear on you, you can't hide it. You don't have the ability to hide it. God's existence is so clear for all to see. Hey Father, don't do this to your children. Don't subject them to this debauchery. Don't do this, sir. God is calling you to a higher standard. God says to love your children, don't do it. Don't do it, sir. Be the good father. Be a good father. Children, do not do this. Children, listen to me. Your father is leading you astray. Do not listen to him. He's lying to you. Children, when you go home, if you have a Bible, read it. Matthew 5 through 7. There is a God in heaven who cares more for you than your earthly father does. And don't let that hurt you. I know exactly what that's like. You have a father that cares more than any of these rainbow tribe people here. And his love for you is so clear. It is so clear. Little children, listen to my voice. Listen to the voice of your creator. Jesus Christ loves you so much, children. When he came to this earth, he welcomed children onto his lap. And he said, let the children come unto me. Suffer not the little children to come unto me, for theirs is the kingdom. Theirs is the kingdom. And upon everyone that would hurt God's children, he says it would be better if a millstone be tied around his neck and then be cast into the heart of the sea than for anyone to cause one of these little ones to stumble. Children, do not go into this place. Father, love your daughter. Father, love your son. You have a clear directive from God today. Turn around. Don't go in. This place wants to destroy the souls of your children. This place wants to make your children little priests and priestesses of Moloch. Don't do it. Do not do it. Lift up your voice for the rights of the afflicted. Care for the poor and needy. Care for the widow and orphan and destitute. Dear friends, you will have no rainbow umbrella on Judgment Day. You will have no sound blocking door. And all things will be laid to bear.